the prophet Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah chapter 26. At the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim, the son of Yoshiyahu, king of Yehuda, this word came from Adonai. Adonai says, Stand in the courtyard of Adonai's house and speak to the people from all the cities in Yehuda who come to worship at Adonai's house. Say everything I order you to say to them, and don't leave out a word. Maybe they will listen, and each of them turn from his evil way. Then I will be able to relent from the disaster I intend to bring on them because of how evil their deeds are. So tell them that this is what Adonai says. If you will not pay attention to me and live according to my Torah, which I have given you, and listen to what my servants, the prophets, whom I send to you, say, I have sent them frequently, but you haven't listened. Then I will make this house like Shiloh, and I will make this city an object of cursing for all the nations of the earth. The Kohanim, the prophets, and all the people heard Yirmiyahu speaking these words in the house of Adonai. When Yirmiyahu had finished saying everything Adonai had ordered him to say to all the people, the Kohanim, the prophets, and all the people seized him, shouting, You will die for this. Why have you prophesied in the name of Adonai? This house will become like Shiloh, and this city will become uninhabited ruins. The people all crowded in on Yirmiyahu and Adonai's house. When the officials of Yehuda heard about it, they came up from the king's palace to Adonai's house and sat at the entrance to the new gate of Adonai's house. The Kohanim and prophets said to the officials and all the people, This man deserves a death sentence because he has prophesied against this city. You have heard it with your own ears. Then Yirmiyahu said to the officials and all the people, Adonai sent me to prophesy against this house and against this city all the words you have heard. Therefore now improve your ways and your doings and listen to the voice of Adonai your God. Then Adonai will relent from the disaster he has decreed against you. But as for me, here, I am in your hands. Do with me whatever seems good and right to you. Only know for certain that if you put me to death, you will bring innocent blood on yourselves, on this city and on its inhabitants, because the fact is that Adonai sent me to you to speak all these words so that you would hear them. The officials and all the people then said to the Kohanim and prophets, This man does not deserve a death sentence, because he has spoken to us in the name of Adonai our God. At this point some of the leaders of the land stood up and addressed all the people assembled. Back in the time of Hizkiyahu, king of Yehuda, Mika from Moroshet was a prophet. He told all the people of Yehuda, Adonai Sevaot says, Zion will be plowed under like a field, Yerushalayim will become heaps of ruins, and the mountain of the house like a forested height. Did Hizkiyahu, king of Yehuda, and all Yehuda put him to death? Not at all. Rather, he feared Adonai and prayed for Adonai's favor, and Adonai relented from the disaster he had pronounced against them. So, if we put Yirmayahu to death, we might bring great disaster on ourselves. On the other hand, there was also a man who prophesied in the name of Adonai, Uriyahu, the son of Shemayahu, from Kiryat Yearim, who prophesied against this city and against this land exactly what Yirmayahu is saying. When Jehoiakim, the king, with all his military men and other officials, heard what he was saying, the king wanted to have him killed. On hearing of this, Uriyahu became frightened, fled, and went to Egypt. Jehoiakim, the king, sent men to Egypt, Elnatan, the son of Akbor, and some others. They brought Uriyahu back from Egypt and took him to Jehoiakim, the king, who put him to the sword and threw his corpse into the burial ground of the common people. But in this situation concerning Yirmiyahu, Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, used his influence to help him, so that he was not handed over to the people to be put to death. End of Yirmiyahu, chapter 26.